Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video on the top 15 best Cydia tweaks for all of the iOS 4 and above devices running iOS 4, 4.0.1, 4.1, 4.2.1, 4.3, and above. Now I will be listing all of these Cydia packages that I list in this video in the description and also all of these Cydia packages that I list in this video are all paid. Now I will be going from 15 all the way up to number 1 and at number 15 will be InfiniBoard. Now what InfiniBoard allows you to do is it is a very simple springboard tweak which is by the same developer of Infini Folders and InfiniDoc but what InfiniBoard allows you to do is it allows you to scroll vertically through your springboard and add an unlimited amount of icons within one uh, page of your springboard. Now this is very simple and as you can see right there you can just scroll through all of your apps and it and you can just scroll through all of your apps. Now the next city of tweak in this video is open notifier. Now open notifier is one of the best notification tweaks that you can have on your device. And when you look at the status bar, you do see that you do have custom notifications on your status bar, including silent mode and email notification, and also a custom notification with the exclamation mark. Now, you can easily change this by opening up the settings app. Now, once you go into the settings app, what you'll do is tap on open notifier. And once you tap on open notifier, you'll see that you can enable it and also enable the silent mode icon and also custom badges and apps. So now when you tap on notifications, you can assign custom notifications for any of your apps that you choose to. Now this is very simple, but you do get the options of having a better notification system on your device on your status bar. At number 13 is Power Up. Now Power Up is a very simple Cydia tweak which enables you to uh, have a custom UI when you are turning off your device. So now when you hold on the power button you do get a custom UI that pops up and you do get the options to power off, reboot, and respring your device. And you also do have the option to toggle it off by cancelling it. So now this looks much better than the normal one. which which does say slide to power off, which is very simple, but with this you can easily change uh, that function of your device by just downloading power up. Now the next thing to tweak in this video is FreeSync. Now FreeSync basically allows you to uh, sync your device with iTunes. When you are using your device with iTunes, you can, you can still use your device instead of uh, canceling the actual sync of your device. Now this is a very simple Cydia tweak but it can be useful in many ways if you still want to use your device uh, while you are syncing with iTunes. Now at number 11 is Action Menu. Now Action Menu does add custom features to your device by using Action Menu it enhances your copy and paste features so you can uh, you can tweet from the copy and paste features and you can also add custom options to a pasteboard which you can have in any app when you are using action men now at number 10 is bigify now bigify allows you to have custom options for your icons so now when you go into the settings app and go to bigify you can rotate your app you can you can rotate the icons on your home screen, make your icons more transparent, change the scale size, and also flip the badges. And to apply the changes, you'll just simply simply hit the Apply Changes button right there. Now, once you respring your device after using Bigify, you can see that all your icons are see-through, and you can see right through your icons, and they are very transparent. Now, that is what Bigify allows you to do, and it also does allow you to rotate your icons and also change the scale size of the icons. In other words, make your icons much bigger on your home screen and many other options like that. At number 9 will be a Cydia tweak called Camera Wallpaper. Now, Camera Wallpaper... It basically enables you to have your camera as your wallpaper in the background. So to enable camera wallpaper, you will choose an activation method in the actual camera wallpaper app. So now, now my activation method is to tap and hold on the status bar. And once you tap and hold on the status bar, you do see that you have the options to turn your camera on, which it is currently off, pause the camera, take a picture, and exit. Now if you're using an iPhone 4, you can use the 
flash at the back as a torch light. So now when you tap on camera on, now once you tap on camera on, you do see your current background in as your springboard and it does automatically pause the actual picture after a while and then you can continue uh, using camera wallpaper. So that is camera wallpaper at number nine. Now at number eight will be clever pin. And what clever pin basically allows you to do is enable uh, your passcode at certain times. So when you are using the Wi-Fi or listening to music, you can disable the passcode on your device. And when you are not using the Wi-Fi that you have specified with clever pin, then it will not uh, it will leave your passcode on. So once you open up settings and then scroll down to clever pin right there, you will have options for clever pin. Now you can easily enable it and you can disable the passcode when you're connected to a network and then you can choose the network uh, when you are playing music on your device and when you are and when the battery is charging when you are in airplane mode now you can also auto reactivate the passcode by toggling that button on and you also do have the inactivity delay button uh, right there so that is what clever pin allows you to do and that is why it is at number eight and number seven is alert artist so now once you open up the alert artist so now once alert artist is open you can see that you can easily change the colors on the custom pop-ups on that you have on your device now you can also change the fonts and you can apply themes to it so for example you can modify the background color and you can easily change colors and also mix colors together to form a new color as well and if you change the colors you can easily create your own color right there and it is very simple to do now that is the alert artist app at number seven now at number six is masks. Now what masks allows you to do is it basically allows you to uh, change the shape of your icons into many different shapes and just change the uh, complete look of icons. Now when you're using masks it does work with themes as well and it doesn't interfere the current themes that are that you are using in any way. So to now once you open up settings and go to masks you will see that you do have a variety of options to customize the look of your icons and this CD tweak is made by the same developer of SB Rotator, Scrolling Board, and other CD tweaks. Now, at number five is Scrolling Board. Now, what Scrolling Board allows you to do is it allows you to easily scroll through your dock and also add an unlimited amount of icons into your dock. Now, when you slide to the left, you do have your multitasking options. You do have the uh, orientation lock and the music controls right there along with the iPod app and you also do have your volume and the airplay button right there. Now scrolling board is also very useful because it does also have the ability to have an unlimited amount of icons within one folder and also the ability to scroll through your dock and, and add an unlimited amount of icons as well. You can also download a scrolling board extension which enables you to have your SB settings in your dock instead of swiping to the left and bringing down the SB settings toggles. Now at number four is my volume. Now, what my volume allows you to do is it allows you to have many options for your volume buttons. So now once you open up settings and go to my volume, you will see that you do have many for the volume buttons right there. So when you, you have the options to enable, uh, the actual volume buttons to vibrate, increase the volume, disable buttons, disable ringer, hide the volume HUD, and also, and you also do have custom options for the ringer switch, and also uh, options uh, for the volume adjust, which includes one click maximum and one click minimum, and also you do have the custom increase uh, for you. You also do have a custom increase and a custom decrease for your volume, and also. Uh, for your headset, you do have custom volume and you do have others as well. And that is what uh, my volume allows you to do. At number three is barrel. Now what barrel allows you to do is it basically allows you to uh, have custom page animations go through your pages. So for example, on barrel, you can just simply uh, slide to the next page. As you can see, the animation puts your icons up 
and then it brings the next set of icons down to the next page. Now it is very simple and yet it does look very nice. Now Barrel also does have many other page animations. So once you tap on the Barrel app right there, you do have the page slide up animation right there, which I was just using. And you also do have uh, you also do have the cube inside, cube outside, page slide down, page slide up, curl and roll away, which is one of the best uh, animations. Vertical scrolling, page fade, stairs down right, stairs down left, page squeeze, icon collection, icon scatter, carousel, and flippy. Now all of these, now all of these page animations are very nice. I do recommend getting this Cydia tweak because it is definitely by far one of the best Cydia tweaks to have on your device. Now at number two, Notified. Notified basically enhances your notification system in many ways. So basically any notification or pop-up that you get on your device, it goes straight to the Notified app and then you can view all of your notifications that you have received recently. So now once you tap on the Notified application, you do get a custom loading screen. So now once you open up the Notified app, you do have a button on the left which allows you to clear, collapse all, expand all, and cancel right there and you also do have a settings button on the top and you can easily uh, change all of these options including animations, badge, status bar icons, lock orientation, manage alerts, manage redirections, notifications to keep, about, and help. Once you go to the notified app interface you do see that you do have some notifications for your battery so it does log all of the battery levels uh, for the pop-ups whether it is at 10% or 20% or any battery notification that you get for your device. Now this is very simple and it has a nice interface and any notification, any notification you get, if it's from Twitter or anything like that, it will show up on Notified and it is very simple to use. So that is Notified at number two. Now the best Cydia tweak out of the top 15 in this video is Springtimize. So now once you open up the settings app and go to Springtimize right there. Springtimize basically enables you to have the most granular customization of your device. Now this compiles many little Cydia tweaks into one app and it is very easy to use and it is definitely a must-have uh, for your device. So you can easily, uh, when you go into the general folder, you can enable it, disable screen flash, disable spotlight, disable web search, hide page dots, disable paging, and you can also uh, choose an activation method for the power alert. So you do have all of these sections uh, to change your device to the most granular point. So that is Springtimize at number one. So thank you for watching this video on the top 15 best Cydia tweaks for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter and at reply me for any jailbreak questions and I will answer it as soon as I can. And also, and thanks for watching.